today we're going to be learning how to use a new piece of equipment, at least new for some of you guys, called a spring scale. Now some of you folks may have used one of these before. If you're a fisherman, you use it to measure the size of your catch, the weight of your catch, to see if it's big enough to keep. It also is the same concept if you weigh things at the grocery store in that hanging basket. But for the rest of you guys who haven't used one, there's a couple things that you need to know about the spring scale. Um, first of all, the spring scale measures the force of gravity on an object. So we're going to be using the right hand side here where it's measured in newtons. And you want to notice on this particular spring scale, it goes from 0 to 1 and there are four lines in between. So that means each small line is worth 2 tenths of a newton because it's measuring it in newtons. Okay, so um, what we're going to do at the beginning of this lab then is um, we're going to take a piece of wood. You're holding the spring scale nice and steady. You don't want to bounce it around. Um, you also want to make sure that it's starting off in the zero position. Then you're going to just casually hook your object onto there, hold it nice and still, and um, as the spring stretches out, the, um, because the object's pulling, getting pulled down by gravity, it corresponds to the newtons over here, the force of gravity measured in newtons here on the right hand side. So this one is um, at about looks like about 5.4, between 5.2 and 5.4 newtons. So that's the first thing you're going to be doing on your lab today, recording the amount of newtons in your piece of wood.